to Nashville. Looks like we are going to be getting a update on a tragic shooting uh, that uh, killed one person at a coffee shop, injured four others on this Easter brunch that everyone was having at this uh, coffee shop in Nashville. So let's listen here. Looks like police are ready to give the latest update. You're watching live now from Fox. Okay, is everybody ready? Ma'am, are you good? Yeah. Okay. At 3 o'clock this afternoon, there was an altercation between two men inside Roasted. Uh, Sunday brunch was being served during that time period. The altercation escalated very sharply into one of the men pulling a gun and firing multiple shots. We believe that the man with whom the gunman was having the altercation is the person who was fatally shot. One person was fatally shot. We have five others who are confirmed gunshot victims who are all non-critical. There is one other individual who was transported to a hospital with a possible graze wound, although it's described as a scratch that could have been uh, inflicted by brushing against a sharp piece of furniture. So we're not sure whether that person has a gunshot wound or whether that scratch came from something else inside. And there is yet another individual who had a, a panic attack and wanted to go to the hospital to be checked out. So a total of eight persons were transported from this scene one of them deceased, five others confirmed gunshot victims, one other with a scratch, the cause of which we're not sure at this point, and then one person who wanted to go to the hospital due to a panic attack. The business has very clear surveillance footage. We have released those images now. You have uh, two photographs that have been released of the gunman. And then you also have a photograph of the Mercedes GL 450 in which he fled the area. Uh, we are uh, almost certain we have the gunman identified, but we're still going on exact 100% confirmation of that. So we're not ready to release his name at this point, but you all see his images. I would urge anyone in the Middle Tennessee area who sees this man or the Mercedes to please contact the Nashville Police Department at 615-862-8600. From the information that we have at this point, the gunman was the only one who brandished a pistol. This was not a shootout, if you will. This was one person who decided to pull a gun based on an altercation occurring with another man. And then he fired multiple shots, resulting in the injuries that I've just described. With me is Commander Anthony McLean. Commander McLean oversees the North Precinct, uh, the area in which we are now. And if you have questions about this particular area, Commander McLean can answer those. Uh, do you have anything specific as to the shooting? And I will try to answer those. Um, we heard that there was a pregnant woman who was transported. That is the woman with the panic attack okay, right. who was uh, uh, very panicked about what happened and given her condition, she wanted to go to the hospital and be checked out. She was not wounded by what occurred inside. Do we know the relationship between the, no the two men and if they knew each other? Uh, not at this point. Uh, from what we're hearing, the two got into uh, an argument that uh, significantly escalated within moments. Uh, we are hearing that the gunman arrived just minutes before this happened. Uh, we don't have any indication that they knew each other at this point. And the gunman arrived alone or with others? Uh, he arrived with a female and the female left with him. Do we, do we know what the altercation was about? Uh, it may have been something as simple as one person invading another person's space. But again, we need to advance the investigation and learn more. We have officers with victims at at least three hospitals, interviewing them to see what they exactly saw. But initially, it could be something as simple as one person invading another person's space. Have we had any previous reports 
have uh, concerns with this establishment or anything? I'll let Commander McLean talk about the area. Anything else about the shooting incident itself? Do you know how many other people were inside the restaurant? Uh, there were many people inside. This was a uh, Sunday brunch scenario. They were serving food. There were people sitting down dining when this erupted. Okay. Commander McLean can answer, answer your question right. about the area. How are you guys doing? So the question that you had about issues at that particular location, right. we haven't had any significant issues at that location. It has okay. recently, within the last year or so, changed hands, ownership. Uh, so, but until this date, we haven't had any significant issues at that location. I mean, can you tell us about the place? Is it a popular spot? I believe it's a popular spot, but uh, mainly it's just like a brunch location where people come to eat and to, you know, socialize and things of that nature. So, again, it changed hands. I haven't met the new owners as of yet. Uh, I plan to do so. Uh, but uh, like I said before, we haven't had any major or significant issues at that location. Can you spoken to some of the people inside the restaurant. Uh -huh. What were they saying? What was it like, you know, after the gunfire kind of erupted? Well, it's kind of a panic. So obviously from the video, everyone's trying to get out and trying to escape the gunfire. Uh, some people did try to resist the gun, the gunman. Uh, so it's just mass chaos. It's the best way I can describe it. Uh, are you surprised to see this in this area? I am. I, I really am, especially on a holiday, right? It's Easter Sunday. Uh, we didn't expect to have this, but uh, be that as it may, we're going to do everything we can to get the suspect into custody and to bring him to justice. So. Anything that you want the people living here to know? I mean, again, um, said, yeah, okay. it's, this was an isolated incident, obviously. Uh, it's not something that's indicative of this particular area. As you can see, the area is really nice. Uh, it's just an isolated incident, and we will make sure that we uh, do all we can, like I say, uh, to get the suspect into custody. So the police department's homicide team is leading the investigation. Mm -hmm. Detectives from the Titans unit of the Specialized Investigations Division are here. And you all know from uh, what you've heard from us over the past couple of years, the Titans unit specializes in finding persons responsible for gunfire in neighborhoods. Uh, they're very good at what they do. And a team of Titans detectives is, some of them are still here. Others are gone elsewhere in the field to try to uh, apprehend this individual, confirm his identity and apprehend him. So. Uh, there's a lot of work being put in right now to try to locate this man and get him off the streets. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there, a terrible shooting that take, took place earlier today at a brunch spot in Nashville with one dead and uh, five others, and they're still looking for the uh, suspect there but again detectives continuing to work uh, to determine the motive for this gunman opening fire during the sunday brunch at roasted on garfield street one man was killed several others hurt non-critically the shooting happened at 3 p.m local time and the gunman fled in a mercedes a gls 450 and uh, if anyone knows any information they are asked uh, to call 615-862 